Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode number 85. This is the 874th episode of the anime, our, The Last Hope, The Sun Pirate Emerge, and the 934th chapter manga, Hydro of the Flash. This one adapts on pretty much the entirety of chapter 899 of the manga, minus the cover story. <clears throat> There are many things that happen this episode. Like, for instance, Big Mom arrives on Fluffy Island, and she indirectly burns down Benja's ship, so they have to get in their ship to get out the island. Yep, so basically, Benj has all of his men except for two of them. I think his name is Vito. He's the one with the guy who sticks his tongue out. mouth says Rio. And another guy tells him to go get a ship, while he and Clifton decide to stay and watch and see if Big Mom likes the cake. Yep, Pedros is getting treated for his wounds. Madro, I think his name is, is basically monitoring the whole situation, sending all these other ships out the place. <clears throat> Meanwhile, while the German Sixers are firing on the the Tart fleet, Sanji arrives with Luffy back in the Straw Hat ship, and pretty much everybody is there. And of course, everybody's like so happy to see him. And I thought this was so adorable. Carrot just. Just sort of snuggles up with Luffy and just bites his e bites his ear like she usually does. Of course, she also blushes at seeing him. And <clears throat> and of course, Sanji telling Chopper like, uh, actually it's not Sanji, it's Brooke telling like, hurry, get 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 get, get Luffy treated right 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 away. It's like okay. <laughs> and of course, despite the fact that Sanji's been shot, Luffy has got a lot more wounds than he does, probably because he got a big boatload of a beating from 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 Katakuri. And he's asked, did he Katakuri? He says, yep, he did. And while they're all escaping, and of course they're being fired at by Smoothie's ship, and of course the guy who can shoot a genie out of his belt, he comes back. Apparently they're, they're close enough he can use his genie. And about to attack Karen, and of course Sanji uses his, his uh, skywalk, and of course using his leg against the genie. And of course the German 66 fleet the, the German keeps firing at them right away for Luffy to escape. Judge asks, like, why did he save him? This would give specifically a reason why. It's just that, well, the viewers know because Sanji and he's, he's one, one great cook. And plus, he's a ship's cook anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. He doesn't give him really a good answer. Just, like, like and of course, you said it's good things about Sanji. Like, that's not what he means. Of course... He knows what Judge means because Judge is being a jerk. Of course, Judge would never find out exactly what the heck Luffy's reason was for coming to, to this whole place and saving and getting Sanji, risking life in the process. Yep. And they're about to, looks like, and all of a sudden, completely out of nowhere, we have this other fleet that pops up. And they're like, how in the world did they get that so quickly? And, and Jimmy's like, look closer. And of course, they're a paddle fleet. And then, like, everything is all, almost all hope is lost. And then, completely out of nowhere, Wasami of the Sun Pirates comes out of the ocean like a big submarine and just bolt, just, just punches his way through the Tart fleet. And, of course, is like, what? Are they here? So he just jumps off the ship and he runs to the Sun Pirates. And the first one they show coming out of the shadow, of course, is Aladdin. That's the name of his first former first mate. And of course his smoking hot mermaid wife. Yeah, and of course GBA of course would not technically come back to the Straw Hat ship after this because he would stay with the Straw Hats to help him get him out of the, the Big Mom's territory after this. But he's still technically a member of the Straw Hat crew. Yeah, he's still a member of the crew. He's their helmsman. He will eventually return. But he hasn't returned yet because his last turn was in chapter nine hundred and two. Yeah, so right now it's been good, like, oh, like 32 chapters since his last appearance, but I'm sure he'll probably make a return. But yeah, one awesome episode. And it's just me, it seems like almost every couple episodes seem to end up like some awesome moment. And of course, it's followed up in the next episode by, by another awesome moment by having continuing that trend. And this will pretty much go on for, for the next few episodes. And of course, next week's episode will adapt the 900 chapter the manga. How I know this? Because this week adapted chapter uh, 
899. So it makes sense that 900 will be dropping next week. And so, yes, we have exactly three episodes to go until this arc is over. And I think a lot of people are hoping this. That we might get some filler after this. Maybe the filler could be, oh, I don't know. How about getting that shift fixed? Because anybody who's reading the manga knows by next chapter, sure, I have shift perfectly fine. It seems like it's fixed between chapters, so I'm hoping for a filler arc to explain, like, how they got the ship fixed and how they replaced all the mirrors on the ship, despite the fact that, well, Luffy had ordered destruction of all the mirrors on the ship. Okay, let's go to the 834 to the manga Hydra the Flowers. First of the cover story with Usep being surrounded by birds. No, it's not from the film Alfred Hitchcock Birds. It's just Usep surrounded by birds. Yeah, that's simply what it is. It's simply chatting with birds. And then we open up with the big mom pirates. Where they're on one of the ships and we see Pedros. The guy shoots a genie out of his belly. Smoothie. Flam Flam. And one of the other sisters, I don't remember her name. She's the one would look like she has like devil horns coming out of her hair. I don't remember what this character's name is. But yeah, you always I can tell who these characters are. Pedro's because he's pure good chunk of the time. I don't remember the genie guy. It's this big, beefy guy with big shoulders. He basically is the same design as Frankie, except he's basically a jelly of his belly, a, a, a genie of his belt. And of course, a smoothie, flam fam. You always know it's her. It's because, well, because she's shooting bubblegum. Yeah, that's the only reason how I know that. Mm -hmm. And of course, my phone's acting really stupid now. Yeah, give me a second here about this. Ah, uh, come on. This will take just a minute, guys. Because apparently my phone does this thing where it just... Okay, there we go. That was quick. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was really, really quick. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Come on. Yeah, my phone is acting really stupid right now. Then we have to bring it up on the website because this is acting really, really stupid. I don't know what's going on with my phone. I honestly don't know. Like, I get like partway through it and the thing just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Okay, where was I at? Okay, here we go. And of course, instead of doing this bull crap. Uh, I think my phone looked at. Anyways, I haven't done this in a while. Mainly because I don't feel as though it's necessary to do this. So I pretty much do this on my phone. So yeah, bring up on my laptop. I haven't done this since February of last year. It's been like a whole year since this happened. This won't take too long to get to it. And exactly where I'm at. Well, hopefully when, when I get a chance to review the other stuff, it won't, it won't do this crap. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Just going back really stupid right now. Like, oh gosh, it's acting really damn stupid. Where it keeps refreshing the damn page for no apparent reason at all. Okay, if I can get to where I left off, I can probably get the chance to actually continue what I'm talking about here. Uh, the thing about the reason why I haven't done this in a while, because ever since I got my phone, I haven't had to do this, but yeah, my tub they take a little while longer to expect. Okay. Come on. Can you move, please? Uh, okay. Okay, so they, they mentioned that Big Mom 
Mom's very car is actually she they think it might be dead, but nope. She's uh still alive. That and they suspect she's probably got my Kaido. And of course see Matt Mesro shows up. Says he uh think that she might be dead, but nope, she's not dead. And, and Smoothie's like, quick killing out mama. She'll be back. And of course she did show up later in the chapter. Well, actually I think it's whole chapter is basically dedicated to her. Yeah, it's something though that Oda decided to bring her back even though that she was not seen. Not in the most recent arc. She was in the one of the most recent arcs of the series, but not the directly previous one. At least kept her out of the review arc. We cut to a uh a building where the little girl and that and the tea lady is at Otama. She's trying some device, then we see Big Mom. Yes, and this is basically during her bout of amnesia. And as long as this is gonna last for. And then right on top of a creature who's got a couple bumps in his head. Yeah, that's the thing with this series. Whenever a character gets hit in the head, a little bruise pops up. It's a common thing to see in anime. You don't see it actually you get bruised, yes, but you don't get like a little comical pain thing. We see the Dami, of course. Chopper seeing that Big Mom is drooling over eating something, possibly him. And we finally see, for the first time ever, a, wa a map of Wano Country. And like almost everything else in the series, it's a big island. From the shape of it, it looks like a... a curved foot. Yeah. They're actually, from look at the picture, they're actually on the east side of the... they're actually on the west side of the island. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Luffy is is over at the prisoner's mind, which is a little bit further than that. And Katakuri is over, and Kaido's over here along with the Shogun, the the guy who works with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the thing about Wano countries, most of the country is wasteland, because it's kind of made that way over the course of twenty years. And we see some whacking by Ladamio. This is the guy who's the actual ruler of the country, but he was forced out of power. And they're asked, like, what you learned that chef from? Hmm? Snatch is, is a chef from outside the country. Yeah, he said he learned it from Zoro. It's like, don't do don't use that anymore. Okay. We see most of the straw hats me up here. We see Robin. Brooke, who's got covered with arrows. Nami. Oh, yeah, and the guy who drew stuff, they picked him up from, from Dress Rosa. He's here. Yeah, they're basically kind of think that the merchant misses a failure when it comes to infiltrating the thing, infiltrating the Shokin's castle. Of course, there's a ton of dialogue from, I believe this is supposed to be, I don't remember what this guy's name is, but I know he's one of the Damio's uh, subordinates, one of his um, readers. One of three he has. Yeah, three retainers. Yeah, and they mentioned about the polyglyph. It wasn't a red stone. Couldn't get time to copy it down. And then we cut to the flower capital. And no Katakuri is not here. It's just the rest of the Star Hat crew, like half, like second half of the group, where it's just Sanji, Frankie, and Usep, and of course, Law. Though, I do have a question, though. Where the heck is Zoro through this all this stuff? Yeah, he's been absent for the past few chapters. No explanation where the heck he is. They're all... Because you know, they talk about the rad suit from the previous chapter. And the chapter kind of ends with, well, Captain Kid escaping. And, uh... Of course, Luffy basically is, like... With that shirt on, he's like partially revealed. Like, yeah, this is a common thing you see in like samurai films where they, 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 despite the fact they're wearing the Komodo robe, they basically just take the top portion off while keeping the rest of the robe on. That's basically what Luffy does. How they do is quite ingenious. They sort of um, pull their arm inside, uh, they pull like one side of the arm, they pull it out, and that's how they do it. Zoro is known for doing this too whenever he fights. Yeah, especially when it, with his current outfit. Mm hmm. See a guy trying to do something to Luffy. He's actually 
Well, sort of taking over somewhere. We see like an old man eating up food off the floor. Disgusting. You know, is disgusting. Like, oh yeah, this food's so good. Stop your hit. Stop your hit. This is a jailer. And of course, Luffy gets out. Luffy jumps up. And then the chapter ends with Queen, Queen, open the gate. And then he says, oh yeah. Like, top former, the Great Queen is arrived. The gate is opening. And of course, the, 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 the manga will break for next week. Yeah, interesting little chapter going for three different locations. Yeah, at least the following what happened with Big Mom in this chapter. Think about like the first portion of this chapter. Luffy, of course, returning the first time in probably first time about six, seven chapters. It's been a little while since we last saw him. But there's still one member of Straw Hat still missing. Zoro. Also looks like Carrot's on this chapter either, which is kind of weird. Don't know where she is. But yeah, I'm gonna give this chapter fully a nine out of ten. It's a pretty good chapter. Does advance the plot, but the only reason I think I'll have the half point, even though you know when you get nine point five, is because it's going to break next week. That's the only reason why. But still, still a good chapter. Okay, so that's it for this particular review. Stay tuned for my comic corner, which to do next. Okay, but there's the next review. Bye.